Hello guys, uh, today we'll be replacing this keyboard on the Acer Aspire E15. Um, this probably has to be one of the dumbest um, designs I've ever seen. So after um, unscrewing the bottom screws, um, just flip the unit over. And as you may have noticed, these the keyboard is held by plastic tabs um one of the i started i i used the solder to remove some of these really thick ones but i've actually found a simpler way to do it uh just grab one of these little flatheads um i have a complete set right there um, but yeah, it's just, all you have to do is just reach underneath and just pop up and it will come off. So like, for example, this one right here, just watch, it will come right off if you pop up, see that? Um, and then this one right here, just keep an eye on it, it will pop up like that. And just keep going all the way around um, around the edges so I'll go that way that way all the way around just make sure you go all the way around and then you can start popping these bigger ones and I'll I'll get to this in a second okay I just noticed that you just have to be extra careful when um, removing these side tabs right there and also these here you can use um, one of these plastic ones if you're not too sure about um, like damaging the the plastic underneath you can just use this to pry your way all the way around but I've done this a couple times so um, you can get away with doing it with a metal screwdriver without damaging anything um, so I've already put the new keyboard in, but I just want to show you what you're going to do is just pop these out all the way and then this is going to come off and then this is a new keyboard. Voila. And then we're going to put the tabs back in. Okay, so now that the keyboard is back in, um, I just like to usually just use a soldering iron to flatten these ribbons so that they can hold the keyboard down. I don't think you have to, but um, I think I'll just do it just to hold it in place. Now, of course, the next person that's going to change, this, that's going to want to change the keyboard will have to get a new base because I'll, I'll be using... Um, these I'll be flattening these ribbons with a soldering iron and I'll show you real, real quick so I have a curved soldering iron what I do is I just push the keyboard down one second push that down and then just flatten it you guys so as you can see I've just flattened a couple of them so especially the bigger ones like this one and that one and the edges I have that one and that one and along the bottom I have those three one two three and then I uh, that one right there that one and a couple here so basically you're just flattening them making sure to cover but yeah this has to be one of the I don't know if it's just cheapness or what but it's just really dumb alright hope this helped